Hello there. Right. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Right. This uh, segment uh, today is going to be uh, the review of Queens of the Stone Age and Times New Rome uh, Part 2 because I've listened to it about three or four times now and I wanted to give you my uh, more in-depth opinion about it. Right. <coughs> In part, right, it's still got its uh, distinctive sound that Queens of Stone Age are known for. But, going into this album, I definitely knew 110% it was not going to be anywhere near as good as that one. That one. Or even that one. Because, in my opinion, that's their best three albums, best body of work, and best period. I mean, Rated R is a good album as well, but I've not got that yet, but I'll need to eventually. And uh, so that's their period. In fact, I like uh, 2013's album. I really do. Uh, because I've got that on my uh, digital player music thing. So I might need to get the album one day. So Rated R and if I just tell you a second day what that album's called the 2013 one which is very good and very groovy right just go and wait there I'll pause you for a minute like clockworks Aye, so that's what that album's called, 2013, and uh, I've heard it a few times now, and I really, really like it. Uh, it's probably my uh, fourth, fourth or third best album, maybe. Aye, but uh, anyway, the one that really got me into them was that one, because Dave Grohl uh, helped uh, play the drums on it. But... As I was saying about this album, Queens of the Stone Age in Times New Rome limited edition red version. In HMV when I purchased it, I picked up the clear version and she says we have it in red. So I've probably made a good decision. I've got I have got two clear vinyl records already, but that's not the point. Right, so anyway, it's uh in part, still got their distinctive sound. Uh, aye, but lyrically, it's more darker. And now and again, you need to look at the lyrics to really try and understand uh, some parts in songs. Like the very first one on side one. But it's uh, 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 overall, though, it's... I don't know. It's hard to explain. I mean, it's... Uh, it's darker, so it's a tiny... Uh, it's still grooving parts, because uh, uh, their whole entire genre makes you go like that. Or this. Especially on uh, Little Sister. And... Uh, aye. Uh, it's no... Like, they've not got one outstanding song that makes, makes you, like, uh, go... Good God Almighty, or like, uh, makes you go like that because Little Sister makes you do that, Songs for the Deaf makes you do that, Parts of um, No One Knows makes you do that. It, it's some some songs are softer than you uh, think they would be because of the lyrics, but it, it, it goes with the lyrics, like the, the music goes with the lyrics because of how dark the. Uh, lyrics are in parts and but the first uh, song on side uh, one is very groovy ah, it makes you go like that but there's a song on I think it's side two that makes you do that as well wait I should have uh, uh, remembered what it was called but anyway it does make you uh, do, do that it was it was soft but groovy and I went, oh it's just really groovy like that. But uh, it's cool. Aye, uh, it's a solid album overall. You would need to really listen to it to understand uh what I'm trying to say. I mean 
anyone can say what they want about an album, but it's your own personal opinion. And uh, if you didn't really like No One Knows and all, all their hits, you might not like them at all. You've got to like, like some of their greatest hits to really like them. But overall, though, no matter what they, they do or where they are in their career, they're always a good live band. I've always noticed that. Uh, but when they were at Glastonbury last year, that's when I got back into listening to them properly. So it was great. Very, very good. I mean, their, their first two albums are a bit meh uh, because it's uh, experimentation. But uh, they really got to grips. Right, if I just do this right, right, here goes, when it loads up. Huh? Right, uh, let's see. Right. Right. Aye, after about 1998, that's when they started getting better with Rated R, Songs for the Death, and then the, uh, the other two albums I showed you. But Songs for the Deaf is where they really, like, people sat up and took notice and got uh, good reviews and started becoming a much, much, much better band overall and live band and stuff like that. So, definitely. Aye. After 2002, aye, they got better and better. Little Sister's a phenomenal song. Uh, it's very good. In fact... Right. Little Sister's on this album, actually. Aye, uh, Burn the Witch, In My Head and Little Sister. Phenomenal, aye. And then on this album, Sick, Sick, Sick and Make It With Chew. And that's uh, what they say. And then uh, Threes and Sevens, but that's a very good album as well. <laughs> run, Pig, Run. <laughs> Weird name, but anyway. Aye, but they've always, always had a distinctive, like, uh, guitar riff uh, throughout their whole, uh, John, no, throughout their whole, oh, well, aye, the genre in music and their lifespan. So, that's a good thing. Aye. Uh, it's, it's a genre called uh, stone rock because they're from, like, the desert of California, and uh, it's always uh, got, like, a good uh, bass groove, because apparently uh, Stoner Rock has uh, got, like, a good, uh, like, a, a good bass sound. But as I said, most of the songs uh, make you go, like, that or that. There's no, like, a certain beat to it that you can dance to it's mere either head banging or as I said that and that so th that's the the th uh, it's the feel that it makes you feel when you really like them as much as I do and you really really properly listen that's what they make you do they make you go like that and they make you do that but they always make you think oh god that's so groovy like uh, it might be like hard and fast and challenging guitar riffs, but they always have a groove. I've always noticed that. Every song has a, a cool, like, groove. If you didn't understand the lyrics, or it's maybe no quite as good as their previous stuff, they've just always got that nice groove going through their music. That's the best thing I like about them. Aye. Yep, that's the best thing I like about them is their groove, but uh, this new album, still taking a while to properly understand the lyrics, but uh, side one is very good. And uh, I really like the artwork. I showed you in the uh, previous uh, video, but I'll show you again. May as well. I don't know, though. Uh, maybe out of ten, I mean... It's hard though, sometimes like if you're trying to figure out like out of 10, do you base it on what you've heard or what you've previously heard for them? Like obviously, I don't know, uh, right, overall if I'm uh, looking at f for like uh, what they've done in the past, in parts, maybe a six or a seven, but overall, and basing it on their whole entire 
song list and album list, I don't know, if it was six. Aye. Mm. Maybe, that, maybe that's harsh, I don't know. It, it changes, uh, uh, but it is good though. I'm really glad I, I got it. Aye, so, um, oh, it's just another uh, good angle to, to hear, uh, like what they're feeling at the time when they made the album and and all that. I like it when some bands uh, maybe go a bit darker with their lyrics and challenge the listener. It's good. Aye, I mean, that's my opinion, but you've got to uh, listen to it. Uh, to understand what I mean, because I can't really go any deeper than that. Aye, because uh, if I could play an instrument, I'd maybe be able to tell you more in depth, but I can't. So, it's just something different to listen to, because uh, now and again I listen to soft stuff or harder stuff, and then it, it's good to go to like that sort of groovy, groovy sound, but with dark lyrics. Aye. Overall, that's the only thing I can really say about that, but uh, oh, there was something I was going to say. I read uh, someone's comment on Google about it, but I can't remember where it was. It was it was a big, long, long, uh, like, paragraph that the person put. Aye, so... I uh... I mean, if you take away the uh, price that I paid for it, uh, I was always going to get it on colour, but coloured vinyl. But I'll show you the coloured vinyl actually. One of them's already in the record player, uh, but I'll take this one out and show you. Aye, all oh, right. Aye, there's three sides to this album, so there must be. Wait, how many songs is there? There's ten, so it must be, I don't know, right. on this side anyway, oh, there's, it looks like there's only two. Oh, wait there. Aye, two or, th two or three on that side, and then on this side, one, two, three, four on that side, and then the rest are on that one. don't know if that's, aye, that's side... Aye, uh, I had to figure this out. So, N is side one, ROM is side two, and then side three is, uh, uh, no, side one is N, second side is time, and then third is new ROM, and then the other side, uh, the other LP is uh, just blank. Aye, so you didn't play that other side. I like the picture on it. I mean, I think to myself that uh, because you're buying the LP, you get so much more than just the music. You get like the colour of the album, the picture in the middle when it's spinning around, the lyric sheet and uh, all the artwork and like stuff on the back and that telling you, like all the information about the process of making it. That, that's what I like, because it, it gives me a good excuse to read more stuff. Because if I'm interested in the music, which I am, then it makes me want to read up a bit in that. It came out June last year, and obviously if I knew back then about it, I would have got it on the day that it came out. Aye, I would have listened to it and then decided. Aye. Or just, like, looked up the singles and if I really liked them back in then in June then I would have got it but I only got it about three months ago or something I think it was wait no I think I got it I may have got it this year actually I think it was this year actually but whenever I got it uh, I just wish I got it a bit earlier no knowing what I know now because it is a good album but I'm definitely going to get uh, Raid R and uh, Like Clockworks. Aye, aye, so I am. Aye, because um, I've only got four of their albums now. Three on CD, which I showed you, and then this uh, vinyl record, which I'm making a review of. 
Negative Space is a good song, but the first song, one side, one's very good. But whatever one it was, I can remember off by heart, but when I find it, I might tell you in another video. It was, it was quite slow, but very groovy. Aye, I'll have to try and find out what song that was. But I really, really like it. That most of the albums, no matter what one you get, it always comes with a, a lyrics. I really like that about uh, vinyl records. It's one of the, well, in fact, wait. The best things I've heard about a vinyl record is just the overall sound. If it's coloured, it's cool to just like look at it spinning around. And the artwork and the lyric sheet. They're the four best things about a vinyl uh, record eye. The sound, looking at it when it spins around if it's a coloured one, the uh, album artwork inside and out, and uh, the sh sheet, sheet lyrics. Aye, it's cool. And it, it's good to always like look back on when you bought it, especially like if it's a new one, un unveiling it, uh, like making a video for instant, instance and then I can uh, always look back and say oh that's when I got that that's what I done that day so that's that's one of the one of the big main reasons why I do these videos it's just to look back and think oh I've done that or I got that then and the journey has took me on and stuff like that music does take you on a journey aye I mean I didn't really like love songs uh, I mean, Ed Sheeran's the furthest I go, or, or um, Lionel Richie. Well, Bee Gees do some love with us, now and again. Or, it's mere dancey, but anyway, I'm just saying that, like, it's a good contrast to uh, listen to all different, like, lyric songs. Aye, there's love, death. Heartbreak, dance, happy, sad. I mean, sad comes under like death technically, but uh, it's just good that like you hear everyone's perspective about what they're singing it at the time. Right, I think that's about it. So, um, I suppose that if you didn't really like their greatest hits, you only like this album. But if you if you like rock, but really groovy rock, you'll like uh, Queens of Stone Age. And if you like rock, but challenging lyrics, you'll like this album as well. So it's not for everyone, but it's it's such a good uh, front cover though. I really like it now that I've looked at it quite a few times. I mean, I really like the uh, picture on the back as well, though. That would be cool to have as a necklace or a tattoo. Aye. That's what I like about uh, rock bands or heavy metal bands. They always have uh, good artwork. Aye. Right. It's been nearly 19 minutes now, so... A tiny bit, now and again, I've went off topic, but... I've just given you my, my true, honest personal opinion at this very moment in time so uh -huh, in time in time new rome right anyway thanks for watching peace out shout out to you marja shout out to you farja safe